Hello and welcome to Thursdays with Annette. Thanks for joining me today because I'm making a good old classic that goes back to the Victorian times. That's how old this recipe is. What could I be making? Well, I'm delving into book three today and I'm making rock cakes. That's right, good old rock cakes. If you've never made them before, you're in for a treat because they are such a classic recipe. So easy to make. If you like scones, these are the lazy person scone because you don't have to roll them out and do all the fancy stuff with scones. It's also in Cooking Corner 2. So in book three, you can make 12 rock cakes and in Cooking Corner 2, you can make six. So if there's just you at home or you don't want to have a lot of uh, rock cakes around, what I do is I tend to make the six because it's Billy's favourite and I freeze them. And they're like bread, you just pop them out and defrost them and, and you know, if you've got surprise visitors coming, they think you're fabulous. You go, would you like a rock cake? I mean, <laughs> now I've preheated my oven to 200 degrees, okay? It's a hot oven, like a scone. Scones should be hot as well. So let's look at the ingredients we need for today's recipe. You want two cups of self-raising flour and we'll sift that. We want 60 grams or four tablespoons of fluorolite margarine. And I'm just going to bung that in the microwave right now because we need to melt it. I should be more eloquent. And I shall place the margarine. I will do it on 70 micro uh, 7 micropower because I don't want it to be too hot and splatter everywhere. And that's why the cling wrap really helps as well. Okay, flour, margarine melted. We want a cup of dried fruit. Um, and we also have a quarter of a cup of sugar. You will need a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, two egg whites and half a cup of milk. And I've got my cooking spray. Now, this is why I love this recipe so much because it has the basics. I can make this anytime I want because I always have these ingredients in my pantry and fridge. So let's get started, okay? Good old rock cakes. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do the dry mix. So we're gonna sift the flour. Now you have dry and wet mix with these rock cakes. And um, Sometimes I'll mix it up a little bit and instead of using the whole lot of the, the uh, mixed fruit, I'll take a little bit out and put some cranberries in as well. Just takes it up a little bit. All right, so sifted flour, the sugar, which was a quarter of a cup. We want a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. You could do mixed spice as well if you wanted to. Either one would be good and then just combine that together. And in goes the dried fruit. So this is how easy this recipe is, hey? All right, now if you've got any big lumps of dried fruit in there, just break them up a bit. There we go. If you see, if you're lucky enough to get a glacé cherry in there, they're very hard to find these days, just cut it in half. All right, so now what I'm going to do is the wet mix. So I'll just move this over a little bit. Let's get the margarine. Okay. We're going to put a quarter of a cup of milk, skim milk, into the hot margarine and that way it'll cool it down. Perfect. And now we're going to add in two egg whites. I actually think I can do it in the bowl, in the measure cup. Let's do that. Save washing up, I say. And you're just going to use, you can use either a fork or a small whisk. I might use a small whisk. <laughs> and just combine that. And you just want the egg whites to blend in to the milk mix. I love anything that says washing up, so there you go, I've saved that bowl. <laughs> now once that's combined, you add this to the dry mix. And 
let me put all this in my soapy sink. You'll go back in the cupboard and just all you do now is combine them. Now, as I said, this is from the Victorian era, but if you look into the history of rock cakes, they actually were very, very popular in World War II because they don't have, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of eggs in them. They don't have a, a lot of margarine, although in the full fat version you put quite a bit in, and, but not a lot of sugar. That was the key with it because cakes can have a lot more. And so they used to really embrace the old rock cake a bit more in the, in the war times. So. Oh God, Annette, <laughs> that was a bit silly. There we go. Do you do things like that when you're cooking, silly things? The good news is, of course, you've got no one watching you. I've got thousands of you watching me. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love a good laugh and especially at myself. All right, so once all that flour is combined, just look on the bottom of your bowl. We are ready to start getting them on the tray. Now we have got two teaspoons of sugar that I've included in the recipe and that's to go on the top. Now you don't have to, for people with diabetes, you might go, look, that's enough sugar in there, I won't bother, you don't have to. It's just a traditional rock cake has that in it. Now I wanna get 12 of them, so I'm gonna get my measure because I really like to um, get even. And I'm a bit hopeless at working that out. Hello, I'm gonna use this bowl. There we go. Pop that to zero. And I'm gonna weigh the whole mix and then I'll get Billy with his trusty calculator to tell me what it is divided by 12. All right, 8.25, Mr. Sim. What's that by 12? 68.7 grams. So let's say 68 and we'll do it that way. Now, where's my spoon? What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. All right, so let's clear that to zero and we want 68. Zero. There we go. We want 68. Now, I'm not sure to start with, so I tend to get an idea as I go on how big they are to, to do it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I might just put them there and then I'll put them on the tray in a minute. Because I want to... Uh, well, actually, no, they're not like scones, sorry. I'll just put them on the baking tray because that's what we want with, um, with them. I'm so used to making scones that I forget sometimes when you're making uh, different recipes. Oh, that's got a great big, I say, cherry there. <laughs> wow. All right, so there's, we want 12. So just, I just think this is a, a really good way to know that everyone's getting the right amount. I mean, it could be, I could be a bit pedantic, couldn't I, but... That's okay. And I think the dried fruit in it really is, what's it supposed to be, Bill, 68? Okay. All right, and this is the great thing about them, hello, just chuck them on. A bit gooey, but that's all right. And the great thing is about rock cakes, as I said, they freeze really well. And uh, I just love having them in the freezer. Just, you know, sometimes you feel like a little something with your cuppa. I have them with a teaspoon of flora. Um, I like them with a bit of margarine. Diane loves them, but she tends to just eat them on their own. So my question to you right now is, are you going to put a margarine with it or are you just going to have it plain? I'd love to know. And let's see which one is the most popular. 
I think the margarine will win. But what do you reckon, Bill? Um, without. Without. Oh, okay. As long as there's plenty of fruit, he says, I'm happy. Oh. Such a simple one. And I tend to pile it up a little bit high so that if you want to put some margarine in them, you can cut through the middle. And I think that makes it, if they're really flat, they'll um, just be a bit harder to get the margarine on it. Well, look at that. How many we got? Yep, one more. Well, that one's a little bit big. I must have forgot. That. Actually, I think this one over here was a bit small. And that one, maybe. All right, here we go. Do you like how rustic they are? Let me just wash my hands. And then I'm going to put the sugar on. <coughs> All right. So they take about 20 minutes. They don't take too long. Uh, depending on how quick your oven is, maybe check them at 15 just to make sure. So I just pick them up with my fingers and just sprinkle it on top. You don't need to wet the mix prior. You just put it on. You know, I made them once with, the, um, with apricot in them as well. But uh, I actually, you know, I thought it tasted a little bit too different from a normal rock cake. Um, but, you know, got to try different things, as I do. All right, there we go. In the 200 degrees oven. I'm going to check them at 15, but I do think they'll probably need 20. But I'd rather check and then go from there because when they're, you know, if they're too overcooked, they're dry. All right, so I'm going to clean up my mess here and I'll come back with my fabulous rock cakes for you. The rock cakes are beeping at me, so put the kettle on, people. Oh, yes. That's what you want. You want to see a nice golden brown top. Look at that. And interesting that the sugar doesn't um, dissolve into it. It sits on the top and goes crunchy. So... Let's get them out. Now, they are a healthier version of rock cakes, of course, because they have their net sim, uh, net sim touch to them. Uh, they're, just to have one is 2.7 grams of fat. Um, traditionally, they'd probably be about eight because they put quite a bit more butter in them. But the thing is they normally put a lot more sugar in them as well, and we don't do that. Only, only a quarter of a cup of sugar is in them but they're sweet enough because of all the dried fruit so there are rock cakes yay another fabulous recipe done on simply too good thursdays with their net now if you would like to win because we're doubling here you've got book three which is the 12 or you can have it out of the cooking point or two which is six so it's half the recipe you're going to get both of these fabulous books this week. That's right, I'm giving two away to three lucky winners. How do you get to win? Well, you like, you share, and then in the comments you do hashtag simply too good. Remember, it's with a Y and the number two. And if that's written correctly, if you write S-I-M, I'm sorry, you're not going in the draw, you will hopefully be the winner. Now, next week's show is going to be fabulous because I'm making homemade spring rolls yes you think how do you make homemade ones are easy peasy japanesey no chinesey <laughs> spring rolls next week they're out of book three a lot of fun and they're just fabulous because they're not deep fried of course they're not i don't do frying <laughs> anyway if you want more tips or recipes you know where to go simply too good .com .au. i mean who knew Weight loss could be so deliciously healthy. Thanks for joining me this week. I've really loved having you with me in my kitchen and I'll catch you next Thursday. Bye now.